Good morning and welcome to this episode of World Be News. I am Winnet Fernal Mowale. Before the news, let's listen to the headlines. This morning on World Be News, we are proud to announce our World Be first quarter revival, March 26, 27, and 28, three days of total freedom with special guest speaker, Bishop Rensford Osere of Dunamis Praise Chapel International. Mark your calendars, invite your friends and the family. You do not want to miss this event. All workers are expected to attend the monthly workers meeting Saturday, March 27th at 5 p.m. Join us every Wednesday for our Wellbeing Collective Day of Fasting and Prayer. Christian World News. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Christian World News. Genocide in China, how a country ran by Xi Jinping is sterilizing, killing, and locking down thousands of Muslims and the international companies that are profiting from these crimes against humanity. Beijing is intent on destroying China's Muslim Uyghur population as part of a broader campaign to unify the country under one ethnic identity. Seven years after President Xi told authorities to show absolutely no mercy to the Uyghur as many as 2 million of them are now locked up in concentration camps spread across China's province. There they endure torture, rape, forced sterilization, slave labor, and are stripped off of their Muslim faith and told to embrace communist ideology. The evidence is overwhelming that China is clearly in breach of 1948 Genocide Convention. Meanwhile, dozens of U.S. companies like Nike, Coca-Cola, Adidas, Tommy Hilfiger, and others are facing renewed pressure to stop using Uyghur workers to produce their goods in Xishang Providence factories. The United States Commission on the International Religious Freedom accuses these companies of complicity fueling Uyghur persecution. Plus this week, remembering Louis Palau, the Argentinian evangelist who preached the gospel to one billion people in 75 nations. He always said, don't look at me, look at Jesus. And that is it for this week's edition of Christian World News. Until next week, from all of us, God loves you and God bless you. This month in World Beam Book Club, in honor of the International Day of Women celebrated this month, we would like to dedicate these powerful reads by T.D. Jakes to all Wellbeam women and friends. Women Thou Art Blessed, a 90 days devotional journal. Women Thou Art Loose, healing the wounds of the past. And Women Pray, 10 women in the Bible who changed the world with prayer. Fun fact, the answer to last week's trivia, what was the name of the woman with the issue of blood? Well, the Bible never actually mentioned her name. She was always known as the woman with the issue of blood. So the correct answer is the woman with the issue of blood. And on this week's World Beam Trivia, because of an accident, I became lame at an early age. My father was best friends with a king, and when he found out I was alive, he brought me to his kingdom to live. Who am I? To post your answers and get your prize, please visit our Facebook page. The first three correct answers will take with them a special gift. Continue to also share our all programs broadcasted on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And at the end of each month, the top sharer will be announced live. To all winners, if you are in the house today, please see me at the end of the service for your prize remittance. And if you aren't in the Miami area, email us your contact information at info at portoflifebibleministry.org and we will make sure to get your prize to you. As we continue diving into this month's devotional on sin's relentless attack, to resist these attacks, we need to be vigilant and humble. We need to be alert to sin's power and the devil's schemes. We need to know our weaknesses and we need to cry out to God for help. For Israel, the action of Phinehas, the priest, brought atonement to the people's sin. For us, Jesus has become our faithful high priest. His blood atones for our failures and his intercession secures our Father's favor. Where do you feel vulnerable? Where are you tempted? Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Ephesians 6.10 Brethren, 
go to Jesus for help. And happening in-house this week, World Beam 100 Days of Prayers Watch Conference Call will continue every day this month, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 3 p.m. To access the prayer conference line, you must first dial 206-451-6076 and enter the conference number 425-436-6341. And when prompted, enter the following access code 7050814. Don't forget to mute your phones when you join the conference line. Thank you. Prophetic counseling sessions are available for members and non-members from 10 a.m. every Monday with any of our in-house prophets. Weekly announcement. In this week, Wellbeing's community outreach program, Farm Share Food and Produce Distribution will be this Monday at 2 p.m. In our daily broadcast programs this week, Power Must Change Hands will be broadcasted live from our studios Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. on WSRF 1580 AM and 99.5 FM. Dining with the King will also be transmitted live on all our social media platforms Wednesday through Friday at 5 p.m. Catch an episode of Divine Encounter with Prophet Ige Kelly Osaipovo on Island TV Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday from 5 to 6 p.m. and on the Now Network Television Thursday at 10 a.m. In our house weekly program, Weekly Revival, Power Must Change Hands on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. The Rendezvous of the Prayer Champions is set for Tuesday at 6 p.m. All choir members are to meet for rehearsal Wednesday at 8 p.m. And anyone who desires to join the choir ministry, please see Brother Charles, our choir director. This week, Thursday at 7.30 p.m., in Bible study, we will discuss on the Impractory Psalms, Seeking Justice, lesson number three. And this week's central truth is that God commands that we do right and that we trust him to do right. And anyone 13 and older is invited to Youth on Fire this Friday at 7.30 p.m. Saturday, 5 p.m. is our time to evangelize, connecting men to God and our purpose, and all workers are expected. And for a complete list of our program schedule, check out our website, www.wellbeenmiami.org. There are many ways you can stand with or partner with Word of Life Bible Ministry and Prophet Ige Kelly Osaibobo's ministry. You can donate through our various giving platforms, or you may also purchase from Pico's library. And lastly, you can also see the Administrative Secretary, Mrs. Ola, for all partnership information. And for all online viewers wishing to sow a seed or present their offerings and tithes, you can also use the giving platform or giving information at the bottom of the screen to do so. Please note our contact numbers has changed. It is now 1-877-934-7750. Also, don't forget to support Pico's ministry by obtaining the new addition to his t-shirts collection. Be careful, do not be fearful. Remember to stay safe by following all CDC guidelines. Thanks for watching this episode of Worldbeam News. To watch it all over again, just visit www.worldbeammiami.org. And don't forget to subscribe and like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Make sure to also share all our programs with your loved ones and your friends. To anyone who has celebrated a birthday or wedding anniversary last week or today, we wish you a happy and blessed celebration. Again, it was yours truly, Winifred Omowale, from our World Beam News TV table. God bless you.